hi guys welcome to another online tutorial so today we're going to learn how to cut a 360 degree flay so the length of my full skirt is 20 inches and the length of my ruffle is 6 inches so meaning the length of my initial skirt the straight skirt is 14 inches so i'm cutting 6 inches ruffle so what i did is that my waist is 26 inches 26 inches plus 4 inches extra which will be for the gathers or the ruffle so the total will be 30 inches so 30 inches divided by 6.28 which is the circumference of a circle yes circumference of a circle so i will be having 4.77 so 4.777.0 the numbers are long so I posmate it, I'll be having five inches. Now five inches plus the length of my ruffle, which is eleven inches, times two. So that will be twenty-two inches. So twenty-two inches. I'll be having twenty-two inches. So meaning I'll be cutting twenty-two inches length and 22 inches breadth or width so this is the calculation for a circle a 360 degree circle so now after i've measured have measured 22 inches length and 22 inches breadth or width mind you I also went extra. I added extra inches. So I added about two inches extra. So I was having 24 inches. I was having 24 inches length and 24 inches breadth. Now this depends on you. You can add any numbers of your choice to it. So what I did is that I picked one hand of a, of the fabric to the other hand in a diagonal way, just like the way you cut your bias. So I picked it one hand and add it to the pick it and drop it to the other hand so you can see just watch me in the video just watch what i'm doing so pick one hand and place it to the other hand in a bias way and pick the other hand and place it to the other hand of the fabric so now when i measure it i'm having 12 inches i'm having 12 inches just as you can see so imagine me not able to cut it i didn't double the length initially i'll be having after folding it i'll be having five point something so because i double the length which is initial 11 inches plus times 2 22 inches so i'm cutting my circumference my radius which is five inches and the remaining i had seven inches left so i measure seven inches round So after doing that, after measuring my 7 inches round, I just went ahead to cut the whole line, the mark line. So after cutting the mark line, you can see I have, I cut out 5 inches radius. That is my five inches and I'm left with seven inches. So you can see the circle, you can see the flay. So because it is doubled, the fabric was two. I had to slit it into two. So I'm going to be joining one hand and joining the other hand. So I'll be having a full pleat after gathering. So as you can see, this is the skirt that I said I cut earlier, which was 14 inches length. So for 14 inches length. So after pleating it and adding it and folding it, I'll be left with 20 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to join my skirt at both sides. After joining my skirt at both sides, then I'm just going to pleat in my flay to it. 
so thank you guys for coming along with me please do not forget to subscribe to my channel watch my other videos share to friend like and comment thanks so much love you